Mark, you know, how do you approach a game like this when you have a team that, you know, is just so talented in every, you know, facet of the game and when, you know, it, it gets out of hand so quickly? Well, you know, from the start, you know, we, we, we're interested in Vanderbilt. We're interested in what Vanderbilt can do, how we show up, how we play. Um, and so I think the disappointing thing for me is, is um, you know, George is a good team and, and, you know, they deserve the right to be where they are in the rankings and, and um, they're playing at a high level. But, you know, I'm interested in, in when we can find our highest level performance and, um, we came out flat, you know, we turned the ball over, uh, we, we made mistakes in special, in the special teams, uh, area and look, it doesn't matter who you play against. You're, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. So, um, for me, this isn't about them. It's about us. It's about how we perform. It's about the things that we can do, um, that starts with me. You know, this is my ownership. It's, it's my accountability it extends to our coaches um you know their accountability that it extends to the players and it's it's the ownership of the players over our process um to move forward and be better but you know look a credit to georgia but also you know um you know we, we have to find a way to measure our process and and not and stop playing according to what the opponent does it's about vanderbilt robbie uh, hey, Clark, I mean, this seems like a result that could shake some programs. Uh, how do you and your staff keep that from happening? Well, it's this is just a, a point in the progression line, Robbie. I mean, it's it's it doesn't shake us because we understand it doesn't define us. I mean, you know, we're, we're a team that's that's um, this is a delicate ecosystem. We're, we're young and we're in the infancy of our program. This is everything that we've talked about all the way up into this point. You know, this is the long, hard way. And, you know, you learn about yourselves um, in, in a game like this, but you also learn about yourself in the response to a game like this. And um, look, we're disappointed. We got a team that that um, has a damaged pride right now. Um, but how quickly can we turn the page and shift focus to our next opponent, win the response and be better? And Again, if we can learn to play up to our standard, if we can learn to play and represent Vanderbilt football, the personality, the style of play, uh, there are better days ahead. And, and for us, it's easy as a staff and, and for the players, too, to understand that, um, that we will be better. And this is, this is a measure of where we are right now, but certainly not an indicator of where we're headed. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll watch the film. We'll go through a process of responding. And um, we'll look forward to having a really strong early week next week to get ready to play UConn. Joe. Clark, understanding that your focus is on you and how you guys move forward from here, I'm just wondering, just as you looked at uh, Georgia this week, in particular Georgia's defense, how does that team and defense compare to some of the best you've seen in this uh, sport in, in recent years? Well, the, the numbers speak for themselves, you know, and, um, you know, College football is a challenge and, you know, sustaining performance is a challenge, but they've done a great job building a roster and coaching that roster to a high level. And, you know, obviously they earned it today. They earned it in all three phases. And so, um, you know, Coach Smart has a good team. It's a well-coached team. And, and um, you know, we, we're obviously wishing them the best moving forward. Robbie? I'm sure you'll have to look at the film first, but I guess right now, is it status quo with this, the quarterback situation or uh, where are you at with that? Well, we, you know, again, the plan was always to, to play both. This is about, again, getting a formula to, to get the ball moving. I think particularly against their front, you know, to get, to get Mike in in the first half to see if we could get some rhythm going, um, to loosen the box a little bit, you know, the threat of the quarterback pulling the ball. We were hoping to get some some RPO and some throws into space um, as well, but there's no snap judgment coming out of this. I think it's more about um, you know again who's the who positioned us best to move the ball in the moment. Both guys have to be ready to play, uh, and um, you know I think we have to do better at that position of protecting the football and making good decisions. You know I, th I think uh, you know in the moment where an immature player will press and try to make a play. Um, you know, to, to, to be um, capable of making the read and going where with the ball where it needs to go 
is going to help position us to win games down the road. And so was disappointed turning the ball over. Again, that was that was a part of our keys to win was uh, perfect ball security. Um, and uh, we weren't able to get that done. And, and uh, obviously ownership totally on on our staff. And like I said, on me, but but also I know both Ken and Mike are going to want to play better and they're going to be anxious to bounce back and, and prove what they can do. Joe, did you have another? Sorry, I, I, I no, I apologize on the hand. Anybody else have any questions for coach? All right, coach. Thanks for your time. All right, appreciate it. Elijah, can you hear me okay? Yes. All right, folks, we got Elijah McAllister joining us now. If you have a question, use the raise hand function. And we'll get to you. Does anybody have a question for Elijah? Robbie, go ahead. Hi, Elijah. Um, what challenges did their offensive line present to you guys today, like uh, on the defensive line? Well, the focus this week has just been about us uh, as a defense as a whole. And um, there's really nothing they did. Super crazy. It was just really all about us and our execution on defense, staying in the right gaps, fitting the right way and uh, tackling. Aria? Um, mentally, you know, what is it like for you guys to play in such a game where, you know, there's there's a hostile crowd and then, you know, it gets out of hand pretty early and you're just trying to hang in there? Mentally, it's no different. It's the same football we've been playing since we were little, 11 on 11. Um, we try not to make a big deal of it. You know, it's still 11 guys on defense, 11 guys on offense, and trying to go attack the ball. So. Chris Lee? Elijah, the slow starts have been an issue this year. Any explanation behind that? No, there's no real explanation. I think just continue to focus about it. Uh, excuse me, continue to focus on it during practice uh, will be an important thing this coming week and uh, doing a better job next week coming out and earning the win. Aria, do you have another? All right, Elijah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Bradley, can you hear me all right? I can hear you. Great, great. We have uh, offensive lineman Bradley Ashmore. <clears throat> Robbie, why don't you go ahead? Uh, hey, Bradley, I know you are on the leadership council for the team. So how do you and, you know, the rest of the, the leaders uh, prevent this result from being one that kind of shakes the team? Yeah, so uh, it's, a, it's a weekly process, right? And obviously we didn't get the result we wanted this week, but we're going to turn the page to next week and uh, have a quick turnaround. So, you know, we just got to be uh, one week at a time, one practice at a time, one rep at a time. So we're going to come back uh, and recover tomorrow. Uh, we're going to watch this film. We're going to move on and um, we're going to play our football. Aria? Obviously, you know, Georgia's defense is really well regarded, but, you know, in uh, having actually, you know, faced them, what was the biggest thing about their defense that, you know, caused trouble for you guys? Yeah, all respect to them. They played a good game. Uh, we always respect every opponent we play. Um, but, you know, Elijah said it too. Uh, it's, it defaults to what we did, right? Uh, especially on the O line, uh, we take ownership of that up front. And uh, we just got to do a better job of uh, fitting our gaps, fitting our men, and uh, doing our assignments. So, Chris? Hey, Bradley. Obviously, their defense had a lot to do with it today, but slow starts have been sort of a common denominator for you guys. What, what are you seeing uh, across games is, is a pattern, perhaps? Yeah. So, uh, like I said, we didn't have a didn't have a great start today, and uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and work to fix that. Uh, we're gonna work early on in practice and work on our consistency during practice this week uh, to get that done. 